eBay and the post office not syncing up and stuff not working can come up. Okay, it's time to go over to March 2023 eBay Standard Envelope Tracking Scan Analysis. What that is, is I track 100 mailings from my store that I sold, paid and shipped, on eBay, and I check some scans, and you'll see the details in a minute. But in March, eBay was over 90% only on one of the scan areas that I tracked, and they were below 90% on three of the scan areas. That kind of coincides with what I'm hearing from other people. Now, everything got a scan. I didn't have any no scans this month. I had five in February. So that means no scans at all from the, the time I sent it in. I didn't have z I had zero no scans. Now this month I do have a claim that I'll be putting in, but it's from January. The customer came back and said, "Hey, I could you give me status on this mailing?" And I said, "Wow, you should have got this." I looked at it. It stopped right at, right after destination scan. There was no other scan. Refunded her. Made, asked them to open the case, which they did. Item not received. I put the tracking in, and then I refunded them and then I'm gonna submit the claim. I just want to give it a couple days and make sure it's all in the eBay system. So I'll get my money back for that one for sure because the scan wasn't there and the customer said they didn't receive it. So I'll get my four dollars, five dollars back. That's my first claim of the year. When scans do not occur, it's so important to us and to me, I feel, is when they're below 90 percent, that's just a line I drew in the sand, it causes us a lot of work, more work than normal, when customers contact us and say, hey, where's my card? Or is this moving? Or what's going on? But when they're over 90%, it kind of feels, I don't get a lot of those messages. eBay and the post office not syncing up and stuff not working can cause us more work and more time, which then causes us more money. So it all goes around and around. It's how it works. Now I do a little clip here of how real high level of how I believe it works and the people that have watched this video before you can skip over this part of it but if you're new to this uh, please watch this and it should give you a level set on how it works the people that have watched it before down in the bottom of the chapters you can jump right to eBay stats and jump over that I did leave Etsy in here I used to sell on Etsy and Etsy used the same type of tracking it's just not made for eBay it's a US post office barcode that's used for promotional mailing but it is not ro as robust as first class and priority where it's scanned at the office or scanned when they pick it up. It does not require an acceptance scan, just a scan somewhere through the system. You're not paying the five to ten dollars, twelve dollars for them to handle those packages. These scans only occur at the high-speed sorting machines in the distribution centers. If you hand this postcard to somebody at the counter at the post office, they will not be able to scan it. If you hand this card to your carrier, they will not be able to scan it. It is only scanned at the distribution office. That's why you're only paying 60 cents. If they had to scan every envelope, it would not make sense. They're not going to do that in the mailboxes. You're not paying that much money for this. But it's better than what we had for years. For years, we were only able to put a stamp and a label on it, no tracking, not get top rated seller on eBay, and all that stuff because there was no tracking. Now we have something a little more. And there is insurance on this, and I'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video. So let me go ahead and start this little clip here, and when it's done, I'll come back. Here is a, a slide I'm going to bring up on the big screen. This is just a, the process in my head on there, not real detailed, layman terms. I, I don't know how everything works with this. I can speculate from my uh, IT background, my technical background, but there are so many different ways to do it. But in a nutshell, this should explain to anybody how it works. So the first box there is you got eBay and Etsy platform. They're connected across multiple data centers and so like that. They're not in the same one, that's why it's got the dotted line there. They're two separate companies, two separate platforms, uh, two separate you know, programs, applications, and stuff like that. They're not shared. But I just put them in a box to make it easier. When someone buys a postcard from either eBay or Etsy, it goes to the post office. The post office then sends data to eBay or Etsy in some way, format a file, web services, some integration, is going to go up and going to come down 
either eBay and Etsy picks it up or directly goes into, into those platforms if they have shared access. So that's your scans. When it hits the post office, it goes back and forth into the tracking on eBay and Etsy. If everything is successful with the delivery, and then you got a happy customer like at the end here. Even though the scans are not happening, most of the time the customer gets the card and they're happy. Okay, so that's how it works. Real high level. It's probably more complex than what I'm putting there, but you get the gist of it. It goes to the post office, the data goes to eBay, eBay puts it in there where we can see it, and it's all updated. It basically starts at the post office in there. A lot of times, if I had to point a finger, it's more on the eBay side application, not putting the information into the eBay application. I do think the post office is getting most of the scans. Right now, I, I would have to point the finger at eBay a little bit more. But let's go over some data here. This is the meat and potato of these videos. And I do one every month. Just And I track it year to date, as you'll see, so we can see if there's a trend and there's something happening here as you'll see this in March. So I track 100 random mail mailings for March 2023. And here's the chart that I usually put together. Now it's got different columns in there and I'll walk through the columns real quick. The first one is the state. I wanna know what state I sent it to so I can see if there's a problem. And as you see here, there's a lot of red. The next column is label. Label I have full control of. I create that label. So I'll, that's always 100, that's my control. But if after that, the origin, destination, delivery, and del delivered scans. So origin scan is where it goes to your first destination and it gets scanned. So basically that night, we put it in the mailbox that night, it should get a scan. The next one is destination. Somewhere in the round, it should say destination. So we know it's moving. The customer knows it's moving. They're not contacting us. Then delivery is out for delivery. I just shortened it for the chart. Delivery is out for delivery. That means it's hit the last sorting center and it's basically out for delivery. And delivered, the all important delivered scan is the one you want. That's when it hit the last sorting center for sure and it was delivered. Now it wasn't delivered to the house yet. With eBay standard envelope, it still takes one or two days or so to get to the house. That's where you get most of the questions from customers. It says delivered, I, hear, I never got it. Tell them to give it a couple more days. It'll be there. That's just how it works. And I have a video about that right here talking about it can create more workforce. And I talk about a canned message I send to everybody. I don't type it out every time. I have it on my phone. I have it on my computer. So wherever I'm at, I get a message like that. I just send this message out. It's gotten a lot better this year. When it first started, a lot of people were sending a lot of messages. But I, I don't get that many anymore. It, it comes in spurts. And then last column is where I do the average days for that state on the post office. What, what's the average days it takes from Illinois to any place that I mailed it to another state. So let's walk down at the bottom here, stats for eBay. So the first one is the label, 100%. 100 labels, 100%. Next one is origin, the first stop. They missed six scans, 96, 94%. So they're still above 90. The goal is always 100%, but they got 90, 94%. Then we get into the under 90s. Not real far down under 90s, but more than it should be. 89% minus 11 on destination scans. 87% minus 13 scans on delivery, out for delivery. And the big one for the month, minus 22 scans on delivered. 78%. I'm amazed I have not gotten a lot of email and messages or messages in eBay from customers saying, where is my stuff? What's going on? What's the status? So the cards are making it. They're just not being scanned. And so I didn't get a lot of messages. That Normally, something like that would create a lot of messages to me. And then the average days for post office is six. It went up one day. Now, the post office is making a lot of changes where I read here and there about doing changes and slowing things down a little bit. Six days 
it's still getting there. Now, some of these states, the, that's the average for some of these states, but some of the states, some of my cards were 10 to 12 days to get there, especially California. Now, let's look at some of these red things across the state. Up at the top there, you got California. I sent 19 envelopes, postcards, to California. Only 11 got delivered scans. So there's something going on in California. And then down at the bottom with New York, in Ohio, in Oregon, in North Carolina, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Not bad, bad, but enough to cause problems. So that's what the red does. Kind of shows you the state and where the problem is, and there's still a lot of red on here that should be cleaned up. I also put together a chart for year-to-date tracking, and this is where it's at. You can see that red line on this chart that went down. That's delivered. And then the other ones were below the 90%. That dotted line is 90%. But that's where the trend, we're going to be able to see a trend over time. Is this something that's going to be the new normal? Or can they fix their stuff and get it going? And then this is the year-to-date chart for the post office. January and February, they were at five days. And now they just went up one day. Hopefully that does not go up any higher. Or we're going to start seeing some issues with some people. If they can deliver it five days for two months, what's going on now? I hope they... Don't move that up. But that's the stats for March. There's something going on. Hopefully it's not a trend. Hope it's just a one month thing. Three scan areas under 90% is not the normal. If they don't get delivered and the customer doesn't receive the email or it's damaged, you can still get your money back. Check my video out on eBay Standard Envelope Insurance. Get your money back. Last year I got over $70 back in refunds I had to do because they never received their postcard. I'm going to continue to track this every month in 2023 so we can see the nice trend. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when I put these up. And you can just do a real quick and make sure that it's not you. It's something going on in the system. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.